Eric, I'm going to be taking some impressions today. What I need to do first is to um, check and make sure these trays are the correct size. Okay. If you'll rest your head on the headrest, what I'm going to be doing is placing this. What I'm looking for on the maxillary is to see if the um, maxillary tuberosity areas are covered, and they are. And then for the lower, notice how I'm putting the tray in at an angle and then placing. If you will lift your tongue up and out at me, uh-huh. And what I'm looking for here is to see that the retromolar areas are covered, and they are. Okay, so we know we have the correct tray size. Now, once in a while, if the tray doesn't quite extend far enough back, you use rope wax and you basically press it on and adapt it to the back part of the, the tray, either the maxillary or the mandibular, to give you a little bit more room. If the patient has mandibular tori to make the impression more comfortable, you can pad the impression with the rope wax as well. She does not have a problem with it, so we won't use it for this demonstration. The next thing that you want to do is to get your alginate and your water ready to go. And if we can focus in on our water level and the meniscus, what we want is we're going to be using two scoops of powder, so we want two measures right at the line, meniscus line. We're going to add the water to one bowl. What we want to do is to first fluff the alginate. The reason why I'm wearing a mask is because when I open this, there's often alginate dust that can do, be released and we don't want to breathe that in. Then we fish for our scooper. And what you want to do is to tap it very lightly like that and then slide it and then add it to a dry bowl. There's one measure. And there's two measures. Now you always want to add powder into liquid because you want to wet all of the powder particles. Now Keisha, before I mix the alginate, I want to go over some things to expect. We're going to be doing the lower first. When I place it in your mouth, what I want you to do is to lean your head back a little bit, and I want you to stick your tongue out at me once I place the material. Okay. I want you to breathe through your nose, not your mouth. I also want to put this in a more forward position. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's see how that is. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Okay, I'm now adding the powder to the liquid. You want to wet the powder particles. Now you want to hold the bowl to its side and you want to begin what's called a stropping motion. Back and forth, back and forth. What you're looking for is a very, very smooth, creamy mixture. You want all the powder particles mixed in. Should take about a minute from when you add the water. Okay. You will want to load the lower in two increments. You want to load from the lingual aspect. There's one. There's the other. You can add a little bit more if you need to. Then what you'll want to do is to get some water and you'll want to smooth, smooth the edge, smooth the very top part. Okay. Notice I'm going in from a side and then I place it tongue up and out. Now notice how I'm pulling the lip on up and I'm holding 
with these two fingers of each hand, breathe through your nose. Now the alternate from placement in the mouth to set is approximately two minutes. Okay, after about two minutes you can tell that the material is set. It feels fairly firm like hard jello. What you want to do is to protect the patient's teeth before you remove it. You don't want to snap it up and hit the metal against her teeth. You also want to remove it in one very quick motion. What you should do is break the suction release in one of the back areas, protecting her teeth, and then very quickly remove it. Okay? We have all of the teeth recorded that we need to. We'll give the patient something to wipe with. And the very next thing that we do is we rinse off the impression, any blood and saliva. Then what we will do is use disinfectant. Remember, we're spraying it. We're not dousing it in there. Okay? And then we will wrap it in a damp, not soaking wet, but a damp paper towel. so that it doesn't dry out through cyanuresis, and then we will place it tray side down in the bowl. Okay? The next impression that we're going to do is the maxillary. Keisha, what I'm going to do for the upper impression is once I place it in your mouth like this, the instant I do that, what I want you to do is come off the chair, your back fully off the chair, mm -hmm. and be breathing through your nose. Okay? Okay. All right. I've already added the powder and the water. I'm now adding my powder again to my liquid. Again, wet the powder particles. Remember, the warmer the water is, the more quickly the alginate will set up. Once we have the particles wetted, we turn the bowl on its side and we use a back and forth stropping motion. We want a very, very smooth, creamy mix. Gather it up. Okay. By making it like that, you're eliminating a lot of air bubbles. Okay. With the maxillary, what you want to do is you want to load it in one motion. Okay. You want the majority of the material, to, material toward the anterior. Just like before, I'm going to wet the... I think I'm going to wet the... There we go. And we basically smooth the top part. Okay. Notice I'm coming from behind her. I'm starting in at the corner and then I'm bringing it around back up and off the chair. Now watch. I'm bringing her lips around and I'm fully seating the tray. If you'll take a side view, breathe through your nose. This area of the tray, this arm here, should be parallel with the occlusal plane. Okay, you can look in the front and make sure that that is fully seated and that it is parallel with the occlusal plane. Okay. You'll lean your head back now. What I'm going to do is remove this very, very quickly. Just like before, you want to protect her lower teeth with one of your fingers. We're going to remove this with a quick snap. I break the seal on one of the sides. And then I remove it very, very quickly to avoid distortion. I'm looking and I've got all the teeth, even to the third molars, recorded. We're going to give Miss Kendrick her own wet paper towel to clean up with. Again, I'm going to rinse and then disinfect. Then I'm going to wrap with a damp paper towel. And that's the procedure for doing alternate impressions.